Jordan and I met at Fight Club Pro. Uh, I think it was like February of 2017, and everything just kind of clicked immediately. We, <laughs> Jordan asked me, he was like, he's like, yo, he's like, you're a, you're like a proper wrestler, aren't you? And I was like, yeah. He goes, yeah, me too. I love wrestling. And we just started talking about wrestling, and everything just kind of hit off. I felt like I knew him for, for years. It was just kind of everything you kind of wanted out of a friend. It seemed like that was never gonna, <laughs> never gonna stop, I guess. Uh, it was weird, it's just, you're just one of those people that, you know, you just have an instant chemistry with in the ring, outside the ring. Like I'd known him my whole life. And it was around that time as well, OTT were looking for, you know, the top guys to bring in. And I went straight out to the management, I, I said, Joe, you have to look at this David Starr guy, he's incredible. We wrestled at the Tivoli. The show was called Wrestle Pops. What a dumb name. And we just knocked lumps out of each other. And had one of my favorite matches. And uh, I think that's how we became best mates. It was great, everything just kind of was cemented. The Jordan Devlin and David Starr show. Everything was moving along and it seemed like, again, there was nothing that could really break whatever we had. And then I heard that Walter was coming to OTT. Found out Walter was coming to OTT. I've had 10 singles matches against him. I'm yet to beat him. And it's kind of become an obsession yeah. of mine to get that, yeah. get that win. I thought, you know, I was going to make David Starr's thing our thing. And I was excited that I was going to help put this thing to bed and we were going to beat Walter together. I think tonight's going to be the night that I beat Walter. I think tonight's night that we beat Walter and Loki. I don't need to repeat myself. I didn't take it as seriously as I could have. I had the price and Walter tapped me out. And Jordan lost. We came into the match, maybe not as focused as we could have been. He could speak for himself, I guess. Maybe he wasn't focused on the match, but I mean, I'm always focused when I'm in the ring with Walter, but if he wanted to try and say that was my fault for some reason, I think that shows somebody who can't, can't really rely on that person, can you? So we were heading into wrestle round two. I knew that Walter was gonna have Tim Thatcher there with him. And there was only one guy that I wanted there with me. I was there for him. I was being a good friend. I watched Jordan just get battered by Walter. I watched him get beaten, beaten every which way across the ring. I watched, I watched him in agony. I watched him in pain. I watched him suffer. Until finally he just stayed down and he quit. I watched Jordan quit. Bring the bell. It's over, he's done it. After that, he picked me up and helped me get back on my feet. And he called me in the days after and obsessed a little bit over how we were going to get him back. And maybe I did push him away a little bit. And they announced that Jordan was gonna team with Will against Walter and Tim Thatcher. Maybe he thought that Will could help him get it done. Maybe he just thinks Will's a superior wrestler. Hurt a little bit, but whatever, you know. I didn't think it was the right partner for me, but I, I didn't really matter. I just wanted to get another chance to prove to myself that I could beat him. And Will unfortunately got injured and that made me go to Joe and say, hey, there's only one guy for this. But then all of a sudden I got a message from OTT management asking me if I would like to replace Will Ospreay to team with Jordan against Tim Thatcher and Walter. And the match was set. Redemption. I remember David's music was playing and he was standing just behind the curtain and we locked eyes. I thought at the time he was nervous about the match but Retrospectively, now, I think even then he knew that if it came down to it, that it had to be him. And I think they had this like devious plan or something, or some I'm some kind of like bad guy. When in reality, that's that's so far from the truth. And then we're late in the match, and finally, this big moment happens, right? I don't know where David is. I don't know where Tim is. All I see is. There's water in the ring, and I know that this is my chance. 
Walter back it off. Walter says no more. Asking me to stop. Sit down, bitch. I'm adrenaline runs through my body. I don't even want to pin them. I want to do it. I want to put it over to everyone somehow musters up this insane amount of strength on the outside watching this happen. It was just, <laughs> just mind blowing. Strain every muscle in my body. I feel his feet leaving the ground. He drops water on his head. I drop him on his head. Here Fox hit the ground beside me and count one, two. I knew right then and there that there's no way I could forgive myself if I let that happen. So he threw it all away. My friendship. Gone. I've been determined to beat Walter, and then I, I gave Jordan so many chances. Chance after chance after chance. Memories, times to come. Gone. So now Jordan's brought us to this point. Jordan set it up. To finally beat Walter, I have to go through him. Everything you kind of wanted out of a friend. I think that's how he became best friends. Found out Walter was coming back to the He threw it all away. There's no way I could forgive myself if I let that happen. I don't think Jordan understands really who I am. We don't know shit about determination, desire, or hunger. Nothing.